Hey, 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 how's it going everyone here today with the latest SH Figure Arts Naruto release and that is Obito Uchiha. Um, actually, the full name, Obito Uchiha. Hello Dreams of Despair, what a name. Um, I think he's taken the Emo Award from Sasuke with this one, but the box is beautiful. Check out the nice calligraphy on it, same as all the others from the re-release line. Um, and yeah, straight away, when this one was announced, I was like, eh, I, I mean, he, I'm not a huge Orbital fan, he's all good, I don't really dislike him or anything, but there's a lot of other characters uh, that I'm more excited to get than Obito. However, I must say, I am presently surprised, or yeah, presently surprised, delighted at how nice this one actually is. Um, I'm pretty stoked that we do have them. I'm really looking forward to future releases now. You know, um, we have the E, Madara and all that. Um, so more figures like this going forward. Ooh, really excited for the line in general. Uh, but anyway, on the back, we do have a nice selection of images showcasing what it does come with. Um, and again, we have that massive fan, um, which is really cool. So very similar to that of uh, my data as well. Plus we get the Sage narrator here. So we'll get a little wee look at that a little bit later in the video on the, here we go, the new narrator. Uh, release so we'll check that out towards the end of the video but for now let's pop them out of the box and check out all the accessories that it does come with okay so Obito out of the box and in the center we have the man himself along with the masked head and additional neck off to the side which is really cool um, and for the face plates we do have the kind of neutral subtly frowning face uh, along with a kind of a maniacal smile the kind of angry teeth gritting um, and then one for doing his cut on attack and then we have that bonus uh, sage narrative face uh, for the hands we do have the combined left and right uh, jujitsu seal hand uh, we've got the loose kind of gripping ones uh, we've got what's that i think it's like the finger pointing i believe um, and then we have the other base jutsu uh, hands as well, you know, for two fingers. And then we have ones for holding onto the fan. Um, and that is located just behind in a separate package. Um, and we have a fan along with the uh, metal chain. Um, and then the additional hands with the attack, um, what's that, the uh, black orb attack attached directly to the hands, which is really nice. Uh, so we'll check out all the accessories uh, a little bit later in the video as well. So for now, let's pop um, Obito out and then we can uh, check out the overall finish on this release. So as Obito swings around on the turntable, we can check out the nice purple finish on it and uh, the lower part of his clothing is uh, fully molded. We have the nice ripples in the clothing there and this is a soft rubber. Uh, so we will get a closer look at this soon, but it is split into three sections, which is nice. Uh, we have, I think it's the katana on the back with the um, orbi, the satchel around there, which is nice. And the coloring is um, those nice pastel colors as well. Uh, along with the kind of the purple, the inner gray shirt, and then the um, ankle area as well, or ankle shin area. Uh, so all the coloring there is really nice. Everything is pretty um, basic. Um, but it is looking good so far. And then we have obviously the flesh tones on the face and arms matching. The pig is subtly lighter, uh, so in very bright light, so maybe it's a bit more noticeable now uh, with the uh, light that I'm using for the video. Uh, but in normal lighting, it definitely doesn't stick out as much. Uh, but you know, that is one of the downsides when you have a flesh colored painted plastic opposed to the molded plastic, which is often the case with the arm versus pegs uh, for a lot of figures. Um, but yeah, so that is just something to keep in mind. Uh, but the printing of the Uchiha symbol on the back is really crisp and clean as well. And so far, all the coloring, I think it looks really nice. It kind of matches them with Orochimaru as well and the previous releases. Uh, pretty basic and straightforward, uh, but it is well done. Uh, so yeah, um, along with the base uh, body, we do have the masked head, and this one's really nice. We have a nice pastel um, ribbons on the back, and this will pivot and move too, which is great. And then the base kind of off-white color for the mask itself. Uh, so this is really nice. So we'll switch both heads onto Uito uh, when we check out the articulation, uh, which we can actually do now. So let's uh, jump straight into it. So starting with the head articulation, uh, we do have motion forward and back, uh, though due to the um, design of his clothing um, with the upper neck area. It is a little bit more limited to some figures, um, but we can still get the swivel going on 
and yeah everything does move around quite nice uh, though just keep in mind that depending on the angle you want to put them in the range of motion may be a little bit more limited um, and if we want to check the articulation for the other here we can pop this straight off um, the neck part can float around so just keep that in mind um, and we can switch the head on like so so due to the mask being a little bit bigger than the head I have noticed the range of motion to be a little bit more limited when going forward but we can uh, still swivel it around uh, which is nice and you can look up as well uh, but we do lose a little bit of articulation but overall damn it looks nice um, and then on the back as well we do have a full articulation for the uh, ties or the bandana part of the back which is fantastic so definitely love the freedom and motion that we do get with the mask so now we can move into the shoulder range and again everything here feels really nice and fluid um, we do have a decent curvature in the chest area uh, though it is up a little bit higher compared to some figures uh, so depending on the angle you want you may need to swivel around uh, to work with those grooves to get the further range of motion in the top area when it goes down lower then obviously it will be um, out further uh, so play and work with the curves of the body uh, to get the most out of the articulation there. Uh, we do have a bicep swivel, uh, the elbow ranges to be expected with the uh, flare design for the arm, uh, though the other side is really nice. Um, you have the pegs on the wrist is all very standard and uh, with you know, nothing really surprisingly for motion. Moving into the chest area we have a nice curvature so we can get forward and back pretty far on this release um, and more importantly we do have a nice diagonal motion as well. Now it does have a thicker center area due to the character design uh, so that will hinder the articulation a little bit compared to some releases um, but so far in playing with them I haven't really noted any times where I kind of wish there was more range so you can still get them into dynamic poses despite that and limitation of this being a bit thicker. Now for the underside it may look like it could be difficult but actually quite straightforward. Um, the rubber here is soft and flexible, a little bit thicker compared to some recent releases uh, but everything can move out of the way without any issue and then again we have really good range of articulation you can easily do the splits without any problems and then we have the um, upper thigh swivel, the knee joints really nice and then to be expected, we have the lower shin movement, the ankle, and those really nice new um, ankle feet joints as well. So all the articulation in the lower region is superb. So we've seen the amazing articulation, so let's jump into these awesome faces as well. Uh, straight away you can see the sculpting in that uh, face on the right hand side where it has been uh, you know, reconstructed. Uh, the uh, shutting gun and the Renin gun, uh, nicely detailed and printed in as well, so everything is crystal clear. Um, you know, this is a nice, real basic, kind of unhappy, frowning face. Uh, the hair is also nicely sculpted just to kind of highlight that as well. Uh, to change the faceplate, really straightforward. Pop off the front part of the hair, and then the faceplate will slot off like so. Uh, the second faceplate that we have, which we'll slot on now, is that awesome, maniacal laughter one. Now I'm pretty sure this is my favourite of the faces besides the mask. Uh, just that smile coming through with all the extra lines and details above the eyes here. Um, the extra detailing on the lines and the sculpting there to really bring forth the emotion is fantastic. Especially when you look at this face on an angle. Ah, it looks so good. Next up is that teeth gritting one, the subtly unhappy one. And again you can kind of see the frustration coming through in this face uh, really well. And then finally we have the cut on uh, effect face as well which is really nice. I feel like this one actually looks a little bit better than the Sasuke one with the um, lips slightly coming in and the cheeks subtly puffed out. I um, definitely think this is actually really nice. It would be cool to get some fire effects to go with this. I mean you can use the Tamashii effect ones which are cool uh, but you can want those full on fireball uh, shooting ones. So it would be nice to get an effect set in the future uh, for these characters. 
Now, while the face plates are fantastic, I don't know, there's something about the masked look which just looks too cool, and it's definitely what I'll be using um, in my display uh, for this character. And you know, especially the fact that we can move this around from left to right with any issues, uh, swivel and you know, twist and turn, it just you know gives so many more options uh, compared to just being static. Uh, but yeah, definitely let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite face plate. Will you be using the masked look, or will you go with one of the uh, base face plates that he comes with? Now the uh, Jutsu hands are really nice in this figure, you can easily attach them on um, and the extra articulation in those ankles definitely makes this figure super easy to pose and the fact that these are kind of soft rubber as well uh, so they don't hinder the articulation and you, know, you can definitely spread out the legs and it won't pull it in unlike what you kind of get with some of the older figures, especially ones with, which have thick rubber here. I mean I guess the recent one would be Zoro, uh, he's definitely I'd say more on the uh, expert level for posing, um, you definitely have to take a lot more time for it with the Orbital release here, super easy, anyone can just jump in and throw them into a really badass pose. Now Orbital does come with the left and right hand as well with the blade sticking out which is really cool so it definitely uh, looks like a katana, it kind of reminds me a little bit like was it Katana Man from Chainsaw Man, um, he was really cool and very similar to uh, the style with the blades coming directly out of the hand, I mean everything in here is really nice and easy to use, um, you can yeah, pose, you can just use one or two. Um, either or you can just mix and match without too much issue. Um, do be careful though, uh, obviously a bit more delicate compared to your normal hands since it is coming straight out of the centre so when you do put it onto the pegs just be a little bit more careful where you are pushing. So while Orbital does come with lots of faces and accessories, my favourite one is definitely this fan and I love how it is attached from a metal chain. Um, now I do have the one for the event exclusive Mado as well, um, which also has a metal chain and from what I can tell the fans are exactly the same. Now I'm really curious, if you have the original Mado release, was that a metal or a plastic chain? Um, I I don't think I've ever had a close look at the original, uh, but the chain for Marara and Orbital here do appear to be the same, um, at least when it comes to the event exclusive release. Uh, but yeah, the fact that this, you know, I don't know, the fans are so nice to me. Uh, it's, you know, big, the metal chain, it picks up the light beautifully, and it pairs well with that masked look. So along with Obito we do have the bonus Sage face for Naruto and yeah again this one looks really nice and makes me so excited uh, to get the full on robe version of Sage Naruto in the future. Um, that one's definitely one of my favourite ones from the original releases uh, so definitely counting down to the day we get the full uh, Sage Naruto release and hopefully within Hinata to go with them. Um, but yeah we do have a couple of characters in the back here for size comparison so let's just chuck these guys all together and get them all in focus. So next to Obito we have obviously the new Kakashi, the Kid Naruto and then the um, Teen Naruto as well and all of these are looking really good together. Uh, the legs are spread out a little bit further on Obito compared to Kakashi but overall pretty similar height and Obito is slightly taller than Naruto though not too much of a difference there. Um, but yeah overall I think these guys are looking really cool together um, and yeah I think I definitely need to pick up a second Kakashi uh, to have one for the goofy poses and then one for the more badass action one plus it'll be handy to have uh, for these uh, reviews since I need to dig out his box for the other hands and expressions so I do apologise for him just being stuck in this pose um, but yeah I definitely will uh, go hunt his box down uh, so I can get access to all the other parts for some photos hopefully soon. I'm definitely excited uh, for the possibility with this figure due to his awesome articulation and accessories. Uh, so yeah and on that note let's just switch over and jump into the pros and cons. So as Obito swings around here we have Naruto with that sage face in the back, um, yeah I mean first off pros all the accessories we have the um, weapon hands as well which is great for both left and right, we get the fan, has the metal chain that clips in underneath his arm and it doesn't hinder the articulation there as well which is great, uh, we get both the masked look um, the head look as well with the different face plates, easy to switch on and off, um, articulation in the bandana as well and overall articulation on this figure is fantastic. Uh, depending, on what you want, depending on what you want to do, you might get a little bit limited 
in the upper chest area but again if you lift the arms up a bit higher you'll have further increase the range of motion. Um, the mid area as well can be a little bit more limited due to the thicker um, belt design that Orbital has but in saying that he still has great range from both forward, back and horizontal. Um, and then obviously the lower body is fantastic. Uh, the fact that the, uh, what's that, the lower half here is all soft rubber and can flex and move around without any issue is great. Um, yeah, I mean it looks good if it's under or over, um, though I'm pretty sure the correct design should be over the top of that centre piece. And it definitely flows and you know, moulds into itself really well, especially with all the lines in the um, lower half of his clothing. Um, the finish overall looks really nice. I mean, again, this figure I could see having a event exclusive release, kind of similar to that of Orochimaru, uh, where the weathering details and um, Sheen and Shine and figure could really elevate it. But overall, a stacked release, and I'm looking forward to the future releases for Naruto Mai. I don't have any major cons actually. I'm um, a little bit surprised. I wasn't super pumped for this release. But maybe that's a good thing. Sometimes if you don't have high expectations, uh, you can definitely be blown away or at least be very satisfied with what you get. Uh, so yeah, definitely let me know in the comments below what you think about this release. Are you happy? Dissatisfied? Anything that you would have liked to see different with this release or maybe a different set of accessories or items with them. Uh, so yeah, that is it. I will um, try and get some photos of this release um, and check them up on Instagram. So be sure to check those out later. And yeah, anyway, Thank you very much for watching and until next time, cheers.